A massive amount of people on Earth live in incredibly harsh deserts with temperatures well over 100 degrees, with violent storms and a horrible sense of isolation. That's just daily life in the city of Dubai. As new technology advances, there are those who are trying to figure out how to take what once was one of the harshest environments on Earth into a new Eden. But the United Arab Emirates is using its oil wealth and expertise to not only prepare for the future on Earth, but also colonize Mars. In fact, an Emirati space official has already announced their plan to build a settlement on Mars by the year 2117. Dubai and the United Arab Emirates are threatened by the desert more than ever before. According to a recent report by the government, quote, with an increase in population and food consumption systems, land degradation and desertification are becoming rampant. Land that was once fertile and easy to live on is becoming more arid and inhospitable. The UAE fell from 290 square miles of arable land to 163 square miles in the last few decades. Not to mention the fact that temperatures have been rising and are expected to only rise more as the years go on. Temperatures reach as high as 113 degrees now. Any temperature above 110 is pretty dangerous for humans. They also have more reasons than most to invest in green technologies. The area has notoriously been dependent on sales of fossil fuels for decades. Now that the world is slowly moving towards new types of green technologies, the future might really put the hurt on the UAE. Enter the Dubai Industrial Strategy 2030. It's a huge plan that states that will, quote, promote environmentally friendly and energy efficient manufacturing. So obviously that means they're going to start building their own Teslas, right? Part of this industrial surge towards green technology has been the launching of what's known as Sandwaves Automotive. It looks to not only create an electric vehicle that rivals the likes of Tesla, but one that's also specially designed for harsh terrains, like the desert of Dubai. They've already announced plans for three different models, the Classic, the E-Sport, and the Hypersport. They are definitely going for the Tesla style, with a slightly futuristic vibe with smooth lines and sleek curves. It doesn't seem like they're going to hit Tesla stats anytime in the near future. It seems like, as is often the case with electric vehicle manufacturing, there have been a lot of setbacks. Today, you still can't purchase one of these babies, even though they were supposed to start hitting the road in 2022. Now that is really starting to sound like Tesla. Some of those setbacks might have to do with the fact that Tesla itself has become a popular brand in the area. It's been reported that 8,489 Teslas were registered in 2021 in Dubai alone. It seems like Tesla may have driven over all of Sandwave's hopes and dreams. Well, at least Dubai still has that super tall, super green skyscraper. Won't see Elon make one of those. The push for greener technologies is coming to the architecture world too. As cities like Dubai are pressuring buildings to be constructed in more energy-efficient ways that utilize far fewer fossil fuels. We've already seen this trend in buildings like the famous tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. The building's 2,717-foot height is plenty impressive, but it's been getting a lot of press for the innovative way that it deals with the water that has to flow through 163 stories. It has a complex water collection system that redirects all saved H2O to other services such as the fountain just outside. As such an enormous building, one would think that it would represent everything wasteful about 21st century architecture. Instead, it also harnesses solar power, which saves over 3200 kilowatts each day. How can you possibly compete with the solar savings of the world's largest building? What about with one of the world's biggest solar energy parks in the world? Before we take a look at that, take a second and like and subscribe for more about the coolest technological innovations in the world. Imagine thousands of reflective panels spread over desert sand that resembles a large shining glass. That surreal image is the reality of the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park. In January of 2012, it was announced that one of the most ambitious solar parks would be constructed just outside of Dubai. It has gone through five different phases of development, which has brought it to nearly 30 square miles. That comes to over 28 million kilowatts of energy each year. Not only that, but it will enter more phases of expansion in the years ahead. Considering how much the project costs, hopefully it will continue to generate a lot of success. 
It's been reported that constructing this gargantuan solar park was around $13.6 billion. Considering the Burj Khalifa cost $1.5 billion, that's pretty steep. Still, providing innovations in green technology could be vital for an area fighting against not only a desert crisis, but an upcoming drop in fossil fuel consumption. Nothing breeds profits quite like being on the cutting edge. As cool as it might be to go look at all of that reflective beauty just outside Dubai, it's not exactly as fun as going to an indoor rainforest of the future. The Green Planet is a biodome that acts as an artificially created environment that simulates a real rainforest. The park features over 3,000 plants and animals living together in this unique futuristic ecosystem. The entire structure is 60,000 square feet with an 82-foot artificial tree that runs through the center of the rainforest. Among the many animals you might be able to see but definitely not touch are sloths, flying foxes, saber bats, anacondas, and bearcats. The entire project costs over $50 million to build over three years of construction, though you could get a ticket for as low as 38 bucks. It's even possible for visitors to camp there overnight. Not only does that offer you the unique experience of camping in a rainforest, but it's very possible that this is exactly how they'll be camping on Mars, much sooner than you think if Dubai's space program gets its way. The real solution of the problems to the expanding deserts of the UAE may not lie with technology for this planet at all. In fact, it may seem like efforts to figure out how to terraform the deserts of Mars may accidentally help us live better in deserts right here at home. United Arab Emirates Space Agency, or UAESA, has only been in operation since 2014, but it's made it very clear that it's focused on the Red Planet. In March of 2022, they managed to send the HOPE probe into the orbit of Mars on the very first attempt. This was a pretty huge deal for the organization, and it only motivated them to make loftier goals, like moving in for good. Their plan is called Mars 2117. It makes some pretty space race level promises, including that 60,000 colonies will exist within the next 100 years on the planet, all with livable environments built by robots. They have some really ambitious plans, including humans landing on Mars within the next few decades and small human colonies within the next few decades after that. I'm sure the giant mall will be coming shortly after that, complete with a hot topic and everything. Others have stated that all of those projections are closer to science fiction than science fact, but for the UAE, that's just a sales pitch to help fund projects helpful for home. Most options for surviving a hostile environment could serve multiple purposes for the UAE. It's just easier to sell people on space travel nowadays. For instance, one of the most popular ideas for how cities will look on the Red Planet is that they'll be in giant domed enclosures with controlled environments. Elon Musk and SpaceX have reported that building a city like this on another planet could cost as much as $10 trillion. So wouldn't it be so much easier to build one of these at home? A 3,000-foot tall domed city on Earth is projected to be worth around $5 to $10 billion. So it's very possible that the first of these domed city projects could be popping up in the Arabian desert in the next decade. As much as new smart cities are in fashion right now, I'm kind of shocked there's no domed city we can visit right now. Then there are the types of agricultural technologies Mars would need to support a population of human colonists. Right now, tech-enabled indoor farming is on the rise big time. These are enormous indoor farms that use robots, self-driving tractors, and pollinator drones. For an area like the UAE, or especially one like Mars, an indoor farm with a very controlled environment could provide food to millions of people. We've already seen both of these ideas merged with Dubai's artificial rainforest. That's practically a proof of concept for how all of this could work. Of course, for obvious reasons, one of the methods to terraform Mars by dropping nuclear bombs on the planet's polar ice caps would not be an option for Saudi Arabia. A 9,000-degree nuclear explosion is definitely not what a desert needs. I've looked and looked and it doesn't look like anyone is working on the cool looking still suits from Dune that keep you cool in the desert by preserving all your water. I mean, I also want to ride a giant sandworm, but the suits seem like an easier start.